Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at SIM 2024, the annual meeting of the Society for Imaging Informatics in Medicine in National Harbor, Maryland. Really pleased right now to have uh, Dr. Jim Whitfill. He is Chief Transformation Officer at Honor Health in Arizona. And also Kim Garriott, she is General Manager of Global Healthcare and Life Sciences at NetApp. Dr. Whitfield, Kim, thanks for being with us today. Yeah. Thanks for having us, this yeah. is gonna be fun. Yeah. So uh, one of the big stories here at uh, SIM 2024 is the 10 year anniversary of enterprise imaging. And so that's being defined as uh, the, the start of that was when SIM and HIMS got together and started the, their project on enterprise imaging. Can we talk a little bit about that and you know, why you decided to do that and maybe what are some of the accomplishments are? Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll start. And then I think Kim can really give some personal background to that because she was really at, you know, kind of at ground zero when that was forming. So if we turn back the clock for a little bit more than 10 years ago, we began to see the sort of the onset of different specialties thinking about how, how might they bring their images into a common archive. I mean, it was something theoretically that we had been thinking about even since the days between SCAR turning into SIM but reality started to happen probably 12 plus years ago. And what we began to notice is, is that as there is this sort of nascent space of enterprise imaging, it's different from radiology workflow. And there was a belief that SIM alone needed a partner uh, with somebody else to be able to encapsulate the broader space so that it's not perceived as just another radiology initiative, that this truly is an enterprise initiative. And that, I think, kind of fueled from a, from a high level, like why the two organizations wanted to work together. But then Kim can really talk about some of the early, like on the ground work that she was involved in and really helping to get this whole space going. Yeah, no, I, Jim was really accurate with that. And it really was the culmination of the realization in the digital transformation of healthcare that images are being generated really outside of the traditional walls of cardiology and radiology. And how do we help to archive and manage and make accessible all that media, regardless of where it's generated across the enterprise. So HIMSS was a natural choice because they had such penetration with the EMR, and of course making the images available in the EMR is so important. And so, you know, back in 2013, the groups came together and then we launched the community in 2014 and haven't looked backwards awesome. since. So what were some of the, the early goals of the project and what would you say were some of the milestones? I mean, back then, PAX was everything. Um, you know, it was kind of, it was very radiology focused, but as you, as you mentioned, there were these other medical disciplines that are starting to generate a lot of digital data. Yeah, so um, what we first looked at was education, right? This is relatively new terminology. Most CIOs had never heard of this term, enterprise imaging. So there really was this push for enablement and education of the entire community to make build awareness around what this is and the importance to having this continuity of care by making all of this clinical data available in a way that's accessible by all. And so through that, we took on the charge to develop a number of white papers and set up a number of working committee groups uh, to focus on that. And since that time, the HIMSIM Enterprise Imaging Community, which has now grown to over 1,200 members, which is, I think, amazing, yeah. Um, the group has uh, released 16 white papers, the most recent one just two weeks ago, which really talks about where we've been as an enterprise imaging community, where we're going, and what some of the challenges are that lie before us. And then the white paper that we had uh, released back in the winter actually looks at the prior 14 white papers that focus on all different types of topics from point of care ultrasound to encounters based imaging to even just what the definition of enterprise imaging is. And that white paper actually looks at those 14 papers. We invited those original authors to come back, revise them, and then we've re-released them and they're all available in the Journal of Imaging Informatics in Medicine collection um, that you can access today. Awesome. Now, it, it seems like the term enterprise imaging really has taken hold and has kind of replaced the term PACS. Um, do, do you feel like that's one of the accomplishments, Jim, of, of, of the project that, 
that enterprise imaging really has become an, an established term? Well, I think the fact that it's, yeah, definitely that it's become established. And it's becoming, a, I think, also becoming a space where people who are in other specialties that produce images feel like they, they can come together and have an equal voice. So, for example, one of the things that Kim you know, mentioned when we got together to, to form some of those early white papers, one of the things that we learned early on was that governance, more even than technology, governance of getting people from different specialties, and I'm a physician, so I'll trash my profession, getting different doctors from different specialties to get along sometimes to make these decisions, not super easy. So we created some roadmaps for that, and I think that's helped create the space for the name enterprise imaging to be more sort of adopted today. And it's a little more neutral than the term PACS as well, you know, where, where somebody in, in pathology might go, what does that mean? Does it start with pathology what? You know? So we're celebrating the 10 year anniversary here. What do you think is gonna happen in the next 10 years? I think that's a, a really fun question, right? I think technology is changing so rapidly. I can't even begin to imagine where we will be in 10 years, but I think in the near term, obviously evolutions in Gen AI are really going to help with workflow and, and perhaps the diagnostic part of imaging. Um, but I think the biggest changes also are going to be really the um, digital pathology, disciplines like that becoming yeah. more mature and really filling out the landscape of of medical imaging altogether. Yeah, I have to agree, Kim. I mean, if you look at just what we are seeing is, if you think of the last 10 years as being laying the foundations such such that clinicians could come together from these different specialties, we had to do a lot of work around what are the standards, what's the workflow, how does the technology support this? We're now starting to see those clinicians come together and reuse those platforms for their own workflow. And I think you're going to see more and more specialties that produce images coming into the fold and really meaningfully contribute to like the dialogue. That's great. Well, so th this all raises the question for me, is, is PAX even a relevant term anymore? Well, I, I, it would be dangerous for me to like say no, like or it's not relevant, right? Because that'll be the next thing we know it'll be out on X, and then like I'll be bombarded. But you know, I think what is what is clear is we keep going through these periods where PAX definitely is morphing. And I think back to Don Dennison's conversation about a deconstructed PAX, where you have a smart work list, a VNA, a viewer, and all these kind of components, and we see it sort of like deconstruct, come back together, deconstruct, come back together. So it's still an easy term for people to understand. But I think that where we're going is having to adopt words that probably make more sense to our colleagues outside of radiology. But I, I can't, I'd be shocked if radiologists are gonna give up on the term PAX. Yeah. It's just what they know. Yeah. Kim, any closing thoughts? Uh, no, I just really, other than the fact that I think the next decade, I think is going to bring a lot of exciting changes. And I think it's really a time where we're gonna see technology moving healthcare forward in a way that we could only imagine a decade ago. Yeah, definitely. All right, well, Dr. Jim Whitfield, Kim Garriott, thanks so much for being with us today. Yeah, thank you, Brian. Thank you, great to see you. Signing off from SIM 2024, my name is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. <laughs>